Hello, I'm going to talk about three basic practice of oil pump. Firstly, I'm going to talk about me. My name is Muhammad Iman Hakim and I'm from group 2D. Uh, this is table of content that I will talk about. Firstly is introduction of oil pump. Second is three basic practice of oil pump. And lastly is the conclusion. Introduction of oil pump. The tropical plant known as oil pump or Elis genesis is indigenous to West and Central Africa. The fruit of this plant, which yield palm oil and palm kernel oil, is the main reason it is grown. Due to its high oil output, oil palm is frequently farmed in tropical locations including South Asia, Africa, and South America. While palm kernel is de derived from the seed, palm oil is taken from the fruit pulp. Both oil are used extensively in the culinary, cosmetic, and biofuel sector. Three basic practices of oil palm. First is pruning. Pruning of oil palm is referred to the selective removal of certain part of the oil palm. Pruning only that found in palm less than four years after planting. Pruning can boost photosynthesis and increase fruit output by allowing more light and air to enter the oil palm canopy. Pruning is necessary for the most efficient use of fertilizer and to create an easily accessible plantation. Second is fertilizer. Fertilizers are substances that are used to improve plant growth and increase crop yield. Fertilizers provide essential nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and various micronutrients. The use of fertilizers can help to keep the soil nutrient balance ideal and have impact on the calibre of the palm oil that is produced. For instance, nitrogen fertilization tends to increase the amount of oleic acid while decreasing the quantity of palmitic acid. Third is pest control. Pest control is referred to the management and prevention of pests that can cause damage to palm oil trees and the quality of oil palm. There are three types of strategies that we can use such as cultural, biological, and chemical control. Major pests in oil palm plantation in Malaysia are red, bedworm, nettle caterpillars, rhinoceros beetle, bunch moth, and termite. Malaysia oil palm industry has been struggled with the destruction caused by soil borne dis disease such as basal stem rot or we can call it as BSR. In conclusion, given the preceding, it can be concluded that adopting these three fundamentals of oil palm practice offers several benefits. Along with keeping the tree healthy, it also offers premium, premium palm oil. The production of superior palm oil can also increase sale values. Due to its versatility in the ability of product, palm oil can also increase sales. Last but not least, we must safeguard palm oil as a national resource since it supports economic growth in Malaysia. That's all uh, from my presentation. Thank you.